Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm back with another freezer pop review and I haven't done a freezer pop review since let me check get the uh, exact date June 10th 2016 when I did the minion freezer pops uh, and this is something I got from Country Fair. I've noticed these I haven't bought them until uh, I went there and this is and these are from Ontario believe it or not these are Kinsco Freezies says uh Gigantes right there, and you see like a little photo right there. What is that? Make out a dragon uh, riding a frozen surf, sur uh, surfboard or something like that. And this is grape. They had another flavor. They had cherry there, and then they had uh, the white one, which is vanilla. Because sometimes you might get a giant box of. Uh, Freezer pops and there's always like one flavor like everyone's not that crazy about that would be the vanilla so I didn't get the vanilla and these were 19 cents a piece at uh, Country Fair so I got it's pretty big for 19 cents go cut it up mm -mm, that don't work okay a little bit more there we go that worked okay it's always best to open these up with a knife. I use a pair of scissors, but hold on. Okay. No. I don't know, this tastes... This tastes like a grape cream, like grape cream signal. It's really weird. It does not taste like a traditional freezer pop that I'm used to. Um, it's okay. I don't, this, this is from Canada, I, I don't like the creamsicle taste aspect to it. At least that's what it tastes like to me, a grape creamsicle. I'd just rather it be like a pure grape freezer pop. It's okay. I'll probably give this a, a 7 out of 10. Now, I got the cherry one, too, so I'll be reviewing it sometime. I mean, for 19 cents, that's not too bad, but eh, kind of disappointed. I just wanted a straight-up grape flavor. No, no cream sickle flavor to it. I, I assume that's what it is, but that's what it tastes like to me. But it's okay. For 19 cents, eh. I give it a modest 7 out of 10. So there you have it. My first freezer pop review in uh, well, about 11 months. Not a whole year yet. I mean, I, I'm recording this on the 9th. I'll probably upload this on a Friday. So I hope you like this video. Oh, 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 and I got a shout out. Shout out. Let me see. I got some shout outs before I forget. Come on, shout out. Okay. Wait a second. Hold on, it has to go down. I want to make sure, I mean, I know the shout-outs, but I want to make sure I'm pronouncing the names right. One is for Goons, Goons, I, I, I Guns, Guns, I think. And his six-year-old son, Kurt. So I want to give Kurt and uh, Goons, uh, I, 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 I probably have not pronounced that right. And he says he calls it Burger Man Time, my review, so... That's pretty awesome. Thank you very much, Kurt. Let's shout out. And I think there's one other one, too. Let me see if I can find it.
Dang it, where's that? It was cool. Uh, uh, LA Beast comment on one video, and Robert Dyer gave me a shout out on his video. That's just pretty awesome. <clears throat> I know there's someone else. can't find it. Well, that one guy that digged the popsicle, he should like that. Oh, well, yeah, someone asked me if I had a cat. Yeah, I have Maggie. Someone else gave me a can't find it, but definitely, uh, Lie for me, I can't find it. So, oh, yeah, Josh Patterson. Why well, they? I already reviewed him. Gave him a shot. I think I'm gonna give Josh Patterson another review. Uh, another a shout out. Okay. All right. So I hope you all like this video and shout out. Sometimes it's tough for me to find him. comments. And until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion.